How's it going Instacart shoppers? Today we're gonna to be talking about those receipt reward apps where you're able to scan in receipts for gift cards in return. This is something that most people do personally just whenever they go to the grocery store, but a lot of Instacart shoppers and ship shoppers, they have all these grocery receipts with huge expenses on them. So you could potentially get a lot of money back through gift cards using these apps. Sounds really nice and all, but is it allowed? And that is what we're gonna be talking about today. If I look really tired today, it is because I am, believe it or not. We worked a 10 hour Instacart shift and um, we made $240 plus the YouTube revenue for today. So thank you guys for that. All right, so anyways, let's take a look at something in the terms and conditions that leads me to believe that you're not allowed to do this. All right, before I go any further, I just wanna say I found this through Jen on the go. So Jen on the go, shout out to you. She's been doing this a lot longer than I have. So she has a lot of good information. I'll have a link to her channel down below, but chances are you guys probably already are subscribed to her. All right, so let's briefly take a look at this. So the shopper app may request from you any feedback. He might be wondering what is feedback? We'll get to that in a second. Including, but not limited to product or retailer information or images of receipts or products. That is what feedback is. Images of receipts is feedback. It says it right there. So you agree that such feedback shall be in the exclusive property of Instacart and that you will sign all documents necessary to confirm or perfect the exclusive ownership of Instacart to the feedback. That is really all we need to go over because right there it states that this receipt is property of Instacart. So I mentioned all this just to say technically it looks like you're not allowed to scan in receipts. For the most part, most bigger like Instacart YouTubers would say the same thing. There are still some people that promote this because they think that there's nothing wrong with it. There's people on both sides of the spectrum. In reality, I don't think Instacart is out here enforcing this rule because a lot of people have been scanning in receipts for a long time. If you wanna get technical about it though, this could be something that you could get deactivated from from what we see here in the terms and conditions. So you guys can do it, but you guys are definitely risking your account in some way. It might be a minimal risk, but it's still there. If you guys rely on Instacart as like your full-time gig, then I, I wouldn't advise doing that. The benefits that you would get from doing this might be nice in the short term, but if you guys like get deactivated, it wasn't worth it. I also mentioned a few Instacart support agents. They said no to this as well, so. That's a, another thing that you guys can keep in mind. So that is why I don't have like a referral link down below for one of those reward apps. It's because I don't really mess with it and those receipts just go into my folder. That's where they stay until like maybe a year later and then I'll throw them away or burn them or something. Anyways, that's basically it for this video. If you guys found it helpful, make sure you guys slap that like button down below and I'll see you guys on the next video.